Hello, I'm Sig Solo. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Allo August number 5. Today's razor is a special aluminium razor for me because it was one of the first I ever got. It's the Timeless Allo Razor. It's made entirely out of a block of um, aluminium, obviously. It's CNC machined, three and a half inch handle, 14 millimeter wide, so a little thicker than usual. 47 um, 0.4 grams, that's the weight, total weight. The gap is 0.45 uh, millimeter gap, and the exposure is 0 0 0.002 inch or 0 0.05 millimeter, so a very real, uh, a twentieth of a millimeter. Uh, exposure so very little I like this a lot I like even though it's only three and a half millimeters the thingy here the waist and the extra wide handle helps my clumsy you know ham hands a lot the saw for today is my absolute favorite presso and it's almost empty empty because I like this a lot it's the wood and spice and this is one of the single edge um, serious uh, creams they have. They have three. They have this, they have, they have the Aswa Lime and they have the Vetiver and Cypress or Cypress and Vetiver, I don't remember. But this is a little more expensive, a couple of dollars more expensive than the usual ones. They are seven dollars, this is eleven. So uh, go check the link below to the Takemate, they have it all. Uh, they are in business again. They sent from the Ukraine, from Kiev, and they have never let me down. I've always gotten my uh, products without any problems. I have this, uh, the aftershave balm. I have the pre-shave. I didn't bring it in here because I don't want to use it today. And then I have the wooden spice cologne. And I will be using that in the end. And I will explain why now. Well, not now. First, the, uh, the brush is the chromed uh, Parasso uh, ball made by Omega and the Six Solo White Ball. As always, I have given this a lot of hydration um, because that's the way I get, I think the Parasol creams works the best. The blade for today is this, the uh, Israeli made um, Persona Crystal. I think that's all the statistics. So why? Did I bring the cologne in here? Well, because they don't make the aftershave and because this is a very early morning shave. Usually, I shave in the evening and shower in the morning. So, for the first time, I think, ever... Uh, oh, wait a second. The scent of this soap. Man, that's gorgeous. Man, man, man. I love this scent. Man. <laughs> um, I will be showering, that's what I was about to say, after this shave. I don't think I've ever done that before. So I'm up very early, family's asleep. So if you hear some commotion in the background, some noise, that might be the family coming awake. Usually they get up in a couple of hours because I'm up very early to try to do this morning shave. So I hope you're all doing fine and this is there's a man down here. Um, tell me in the comments do you usually shave in the evening like I do or are you a morning shaver and then a shower? Do you shower before you shave? Do you shower after you shave? What's your What's your way? You know, we all have our ways. This was a two and a half days double. And this razor is fantastic. It's one of the best feeling razors. I love the combination of the very slight, very slight positive exposure. 
you know, 0 0.05 of a millimeter, that's very little. And then the gap of 0.45. And actually, I know it's only a little more heavy than the others, other razors I've been using this August. But the heft of the handle almost makes this feel like a, a stainless steel or at least a razor that's much heavier. I don't know why you never see this or almost never. See this in people's shame of day because if I could have three uh, aluminium races only, this was most would most certainly be one of the three. Very little overhang to be aware of, but that only helps you, you know, hold the blade. When you open and close it, it's not anything that you need to be uh, aware of. Well, I say, and then in a second I caught myself, but you know, you know how it is. So <laughs> I always caught myself. So I have some mosquito bites on the chin. Uh, here, that's why you see it looks like an old razor battle wound. It's not. I had a mosquito bite actually under here under the nose because just like the razors, the mosquitoes they love my Bambi road down here and they love to attack me under the nose. So if I'm not careful and paying a lot of attention because we have trillions and trillions and trillions and quadrillions of mosquitoes here in August. So, But that will teach you to walk around with your mouth shut. Which, as you might imagine, is a challenge for me. Because I'm always talking. So, against the growth, second pass. With the Timeless aluminium razor. When you buy this, you get a very nice aluminium stand with it. So that's included in the $75 it costs. So, and I think that's very nice. You can find it if you go into the scratch and dent section you can buy it without the stand I think for 40 or 45 dollars so that's in my opinion that's a steal so this is not polished this is not beat blasted I don't know what I just did there that was the wrong way I'm sorry it's machined and then it's very gently anodized with a protective solution and that's it. So you will see machine marks inside the head. But nothing crazy. Actually it looks like the pattern you see in some Swiss watches. I think it's called Gilosh or something, the round pattern. So actually, okay, and that's it. Let's just go this direction here because 
I just know that my beard likes that. And the razor. Okay, so a fast, a very, very nice feeling shave. And this is maybe the aluminium shave uh, razor that it's not maybe, it is the one I've had for the longest time. Uh, I think it was in fact the first one I ordered back in September of 2000. Almost two years ago. So I've been using this a lot. So this is like using the, you know, the Makua 34C for me. Not in aggression because this feels different, but you know, coming home. This is a very familiar feeling. So, you know that counts for something. The HCNC towel, shaving towel. Oh yeah, so that's why my hair looks funny, in case you're wondering, what did he do to his hair? Because I'm showering after this, I did nothing to the hair. Okay, aftershave balm, and it's fantastic scent. Look how the, the top, the cap here is different. It's thinner, so is the whole of the bottle. So, and as always, a very little goes a very long time, a very long way, not time. <laughs> oh man. Oh. You gotta love this scent. Man. This is my favorite scent of any scent. So therefore, of course, it's also my favorite Proresso scent. This is the one for me. Man. The combination of the deep, deep dark wood and the spices on top of all. That's just amazing. And they only make two clones. This one and the one for the, the blue SO line, I think. Has a sprayer on it, let's try. Close your eyes. Oh, don't watch. I promised my wife I wouldn't use it before the shower when I told her that I was doing this shave last evening. But you know what? Does she hear? No, she's not. So, does she watch my videos? Rarely. So I ta I'm taking a chance now. Okay, let's feel. Oh man. A little weeble there, that doesn't count. Mosquito bites and bumps and you know, topography. Let's not talk about it. Wonderful. Like, subscribe, hit the bell and share. And you know why we do this? We do this because we are not obsessed. We are dedicated. So, 6-0 out.